what's up everyone what's work here and today we are going to be doing uh, I'm going to be showing you custom spider-man Legos and why did I make these because I was bored I made like most of them because I was bored except for these four the rest of them I made because I was bored and I was like, you know what? I should make Spider-Man villains. And yes, I kind of got the idea from the moose figs, except I for the um, Spider-Man customs and for my own design. But I made them my own design because. I just really wanted to do something random. And I think they turned out pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you them today. And I did this solely because I was bored and nothing else. And yeah, that's basically it. So, we have Baron Zemo because he's the only other non-movie person that I have in my collection that's not these guys Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099 the Avengers Iron Man we got Mysterio, we got um, Shocker, Venom Vulture, a weird lizard Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus so let's look at all these minifigures First up is this Spider-Man. It's the oops, the regular Spider-Man from the Lego sets, except he has my old um, homemade suit Spider-Man arms and legs. So he has kind of red legs and a web shooters rather than that's just the um, regular normal Spider-Man. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It's um, Spider-Man 2099. And here's his face. Now, I did make him a very long time ago. Ugh. This is a terrible camera. This is why are you even making it look good? I can't tell. Yeah, here's his face. You can kind of see it's not that great. But I did get the um, skull on his chest and the red on his arms. And I kind of got his face looking okay but this was a year ago most of these are newer but and then there's that back thing don't know what it is and he's in dark blue I'm trying to let's get the background looking nice yeah it's basically it for spider-man 2099 also by the way he's my favorite version of spider-man if if anybody wanted to know. For our last superhero we have Iron Man. Now this is again one of those blue um Royal Guard clone troopers. I got it in a battle pack. Yeah and I cut the fin off and this is like I tried really hard and then I painted it red to match up with this also. So used clone trooper head for Tony Stark's face and then I got his mask and then colored on every single detail so yeah putting it on the head it looks pretty nice but this is the torso it's got his arc reactor and it's based off of the second suit that he wore at the end of the first Avengers movie except for like the entire bottom of the legs cuz I made this again a year ago and for some reason I decided I could use my entire memory and and not look at a single picture. Let's just say whenever I redid his mask I redid a lot of parts and you can also see that's be before I learned how to get rid of backs of torsos because you can kind of see Santa Claus's back. But yeah you can see the gold right there and then I like this how the silver turned out right here. Didn't get turned out pretty cool. 
And then just a bunch of different lines. It's got detail on the inside of his feet that are that's not accurate, but I decided not to change it because I was just kind of burnt out on after all these figures. So now let's get to the villains. First up is Baron Zemo, and he's probably the least one of the least customed. He has a sword. No blood on it this time, like every single horror one. But I just used one of the um ninjas from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then colored on Baron Zemo's like mask thing underneath, and then I colored his mask. And this is supposed to be, you know, I don't know what this one would be called. But it's the one where he mainly has black on him. And I got getting his sword back and I got his tiara and I got his eyes. This is a really old head. So that's why the lines are, are so thick. I would change it, but uh, I don't really feel like it. So yeah. And I just grabbed a random pair of black legs. And that's why they have some weird detail on him. Because I made a custom of a guy from... That's from a shoe commercial. That's where those legs came from. Bet you didn't see that coming. Next is Mysterio. And he's pretty tall. If you grab Spider-Man, put him in front, you can see the height. But the height is... Mainly because he's got another one of the Mandalorian, not Mandalorian, the, um, those, the helmet that he used for Iron Man, and that used to be my old Vulture one. I made a new Vulture, by the way, because I found out it, it was based off the action figure that was not accurate. And I got this, um, Kryptor and Jogga piece colored, it's silver, colored this silver. Then I grabbed one of these capes from those Doctor Who people. And then I grabbed this Ultra Agent's torso that for some reason had a... That I customized a um, weird Egyptian thing on. Because that must have been when I wanted to make a custom Lego Anubis. Putting his head back on. I think he turned out looking pretty cool. I tried to get it as just blank on the face as possible, and I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know if he has a cape or not. I think he has a cape. The cape makes him look pretty cool. Moving on to the next one. It's my favorite Spider-Man villain, Shocker. It's the second Shocker I made. Actually, third. Funny story. When I first made customs, I made all a bunch from the Flash, and then I even a bunch of random DC characters then, and then, but mainly from the Flash, and then I started doing, um, and then after that I got into Spider-Man, and then I made a, um, Vulture, this, I mean not Vulture, Shocker, this used to be the old head, let's just say it was two lines going down and then red lines all over the place. It was terrible, and then I used one of the, um, coal from the Air Jitsu sets. Mm-hmm. Wasn't really that good. The new one, I came up with a cool idea where his jacket has those lines on it. And then he just put on this mask, and it has the black right there. He's got silver eyes, and then I'm these little, 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 little lines. By the way, this was all done by with Sharpie. It was really hard keeping a steady hand. Like, you can kind of see, like, around here. Maybe you can see it, but I messed up a little bit around here. It looks kind of dark, but it's actually very bright. Then he's got my old vulture legs. And then he's, it's just shoes on brown pants. Then he's got a black shirt underneath. And this is, if you wanted to know, Richie from It. He's, he got turned into Shocker, and he's the Scarlet Witch things that we got in the, um, Hulkbuster set, and I used it for, like, his shocking powers. So, yeah, that's basically it for Shocker. He's pretty cool, and I think he looks pretty darn awesome. 
Next we have Venom. And he's pretty bulky because I used the um Nexo Knights, that yellow dude, I don't know his name, but he's bulky, and I colored it all black. And I got his spider symbol on the chest. It looks better on the back. I can only get it to have three legs, but that was impressive. Then on his leg, on his feet, I did some detail to make it look more, make it more custom. Like, make it more of my own design. Because I was trying to make it my own design. Then that's also on his wrists. And then here's his mouth. I colored red and then put teeth in it, and then I got him some eyes. And it is a Mandalorian mask. I forget what I was doing. But I, like, cut this torso up. I forget what other mask I was trying to put it on. Put on. Oh, yeah. I think maybe I was trying to get one of these masks on, so I tried to cut up the this torso piece. Did not turn out well. Because now he's got, like, scratches at the top. But, yeah, that's basically it for Venom. Moving on to the next person. Also... It does look pretty weird if you remove it. That's, I like this symbol a lot. I think that turned out nice. Almost as surprised how nice the front one turned out. Next is Dr. Octopus. And he's got some weird looking arms and I made him a stand. Because he doesn't really, you know, stand up with these arms. But it's because, you know try to make mine unique and because I did not have the pieces that everyone else has for Dr. Octopus he just came off the stand but yeah here he is removing him from his stand and removing this stand oh, removing him from the octopus arms I just used a um will from Jurassic the Jurassic World sets I just used him because he lo looks like a lab coat and then I used the, um, clone trooper head and then colored glasses on. And I think it turned out looking nice. Then I got the, this hair piece. You can kind of stand up with these arms, but you have to lift the bottom arms up a lot. And I made this stand that gets, goes into his back. that can hold him up high so that's basically it so moving on to the next figure it's another vulture it's kind of hard to hold up on the stand because of his ginormous wings which because of this torso piece are articulated moving backwards and forwards um removing those Ugh. um they're the exact same thing just the opposite and looking at the vulture figure um it uses my fives torso armor so yeah that was in a video that I forgot to upload a long time ago which I'll upload soon. But yeah, and then this is the head of one of my vulture masks that I tried to make. I thought this would be good. Eh. I mean, it looks cool. It's got green, menacing green eyes. It's just, it doesn't look accurate. Taking the torso piece off, it's just a jacket. It's the Han Solo torso that I made. Then it's got, like, these clone trooper arms that I made and then it's got a uh, clone trooper legs it's just a bunch of random pieces i threw together but i think he looks pretty cool he can't really um 
keep the stand up, but yeah, that's basically it for um, Vulture now. Moving on to the last minifigure before we get to the brick built figure. He's kind of hard to see, but it's Green Goblin on his glider. Removing this giant block that he sits on. And first looking at the glider, removing the figure, putting him on the stand. The glider is the Hobgoblin glider that's in that one Lego set, just with those guns removed and the horns removed because I couldn't find one. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool glider. I thought it would be good for my Green Goblin. Now, um... The Green Goblin figure. I think looks pretty cool. He's got on a pumpkin bomb. I didn't use this pumpkin head. Because I, uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more custom. This was going to be my electro face, but then I was like, eh, it kind of looks like Green Goblin. Colored the top purple, the sides green, then it turned out pretty cool. I got silver arms. I got clone trooper legs, and then I got my old Ant-Man torso that looked nothing like Ant-Man, and then I just colored green and outlined it with purple. It was like, I can't find the, um, pumpkin bomb. Oh, there it is. And then I gave him shoulder pads that were from my main, Agent Main or Meta, from Red vs. Blue. So yeah, it's not that much to him. And now let's move to the final person. Or animal, if you could say. It's the lizard. Now you're probably like, this is, that's crap. It does, it's terrible. This was like a month after I started customizing, I made this dude. So that's basically a month into making customs, I did, I made this dude. And that was when I wasn't good at customizing. I mean, he can move his arms. S for some reason, he has a blue lab coat, but with white here. And he's got a tail which has the lab coat on it for some reason. I did get his eyes. And a tongue sticking out. And I got some shoes. I thought it was a pretty cool lizard. Eh. It is pretty big to Spider Man. Which is what lizard should be. Should be ginormous. Yeah, I think it looked pretty awesome. And looks pretty cool. So, yeah. That's basically it. I would end this video with some weird thing. Let's be honest. I don't think I have enough um, Lego pieces to use to make a weird skit with all these guys. Let's just say that this is the Sinister Six. And, um... I don't know, Spider-Man's like, oh crap, I'm dead, and then, you know, they, they kill him or something, I don't know. Spider-Man calls on his trusty sidekicks. Sidekicks. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. See you all next time. Oh yeah, keep forgetting to say it. Make sure you subscribe. That would really help me out and get me noticed and it'll also get me the like make me want to um buy a better quality camera sooner but yeah S make sure to subscribe and if you want to like it you can I don't care just you know It'd be nice if you could subscribe and share the video or, you know, try to m make a video of a better version of a lizard 
and say that you made a better lizard than I did. But yeah. See you all next time. Make sure to subscribe. And peace out.